again everyone welcome back well today we are reviewing the final installment of the T series this is the T Habano and this is the Toro size 6 by 50 there is the density I can tell you it has an average feel in the hand now of course the uh, the band is the colors is what give it away as far as what it is and the fact that it is round. Uh, the original T was box pressed. The uh, Connecticut, I believe it was round. I actually should know. I just did it like last year. 2017 was the first year for the T. And so there's been actually one every, every year since. But this is the last go around. And AJ, of course, made this one also. Speaking of AJ and what he made, this cigar is a Habano Sun Grown Wrapper Nicaraguan Binder and Filler. This comes in four sizes, Corona Robusto Minor, 4x46, thought I would say that one. This is today's Choice Toro in a Double Robusto 5.5x54. You can get any and all extra information on the blog. This has been here in my trusty little humidor since 820 so it should be good and ready to go I actually had one last night to re-familiarize myself with it so let's get right to it today's choice the T Habano Toro this really is a nice looking cigar and it's a medium brown color wouldn't you call it um, actually goes very well you know it matches up with the band colors it's a pretty good dome target there too let's take off just a little bit ha 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 oh yeah i like that i like that and as you remember yesterday there's my aj lighter the other lighter is so low it's got to run out. Uh, I swap them out. This happens to be appropriate, wouldn't you say? first thing you're going to notice about this cigar is how much black pepper it has before you get to any other flavors. Initially, initially, it might change. It has a ton of black. I put a black pepper at eight and a half. That's a good conservative number for this amount. I know it's going to tone down. Now, your flavors are a nice one. Orange, citrus, caramel, leather, brown sugar, cinnamon, light nutmeg and black coffee base but you're going to notice the black pepper first Oof, fantastic i love that amount of black pepper combining with all those sweeter flavors i gotta tell you though the black pepper is here the sweeter flavors are here initially 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 but that's how we start, and it's a very good start. <laughs> Can it hold it? We'll see. Well, here we are at the first third. Pepper did tone down. I'd say it's between, it's around seven and a half to uh, maybe between seven and a half and eight it, it's it's not it's not near as it's not the intensity it was when it started and i knew it would tone down the leather i'm not even sure i might delete the leather uh comment it's very light if it's, in, if it's leather in there it's very light there is quite a bit of the citrus and that combines very nicely with the nutmeg, the brown sugar, and the cinnamon. 
there is still caramel in there giving it sweetness. The leather, if it's still there, and I don't know better about a two-thirds point, is a very, very manageable amount. It, it doesn't at all get in the way. As a matter of fact, I'm at the point where it's like I'm not sure it's still there. And the black coffee base. The finish is some caramel and nutmeg. Quite a bit of lingering black pepper. It's nice. High grade, it's a medium body, but high grade medium body. It, it'll probably move up a little bit. But it's a very good cigar. These flavors with this pepper are very appealing to me. It has nice sweetness. It has a, it's a very smooth amount of uh, the flavors that are there. Nothing is biting. Nothing is harsh. I like it. First third, I'm rating at 94. It's a very good cigar. And it's very close to something I would really like to have more of. So, let's see what the second third rates. Into the second third. And there is leather in there, and it is becoming more obvious in the second third, but it's still not an intrusive amount. It's just you notice it now. The average person will notice it. <clears throat> the citrus is still good, but just the slightest bit of decrease in the overall sweetness and what have you. It's still nice. I like these flavors. I like the combination. The nutmeg does not get in your way like in a lot of cigars, but uh, the elevated leather and coffee, as a matter of fact, did arise enough to take just a little bit of the sweetness away. It's, it's not much. I am changing the score to 93 for the second third. Still what I'd call very good. Something I gravitate to uh, again. Medium to full. The finish is now a little sweeter. The caramel notes, which are pre still present, have definitely made it over to the finish, giving it a lot of sweetness. There's nutmeg and pretty good lingering black pepper. This is a good cigar. I like it. It rivals the original tea. At this point, I would give the nod to the original tea, but this is a very good addition. Uh, for me, much better than the Connecticut version. So let's see what the final third brings. down to the end so let's wrap it up it sort of stayed on the same trajectory just slightly decreasing in sweetness but not enough to hurt much it's more of a cedar main flavor you still have brown sugar cinnamon and light caramel the Leather and uh, black coffee did continue to rise a little. The pepper remained very good. It's probably around seven and a half here at the end. Finish I'll call unchanged and it's medium to full. <clears throat> but this is a good cigar overall. It's very good. For the final third, I would drop it just one tick to 92. Not bad. But... It did, the cigar did slightly tail off from the beginning to the end, just ever so slightly. So the overall score is um, 93. This is a good cigar, and I like it. And um, I think you will too. I want you to give it a try and, and if you find them and see what you think. And if you like my videos, I wish you could would consider 
being one of my sponsors. Go to the blog, you'll find the donate button, and if you have a few extra dollars, it would help to keep buying these cigars and keep this going. As you know, YouTube has really cut back on any kind of monetary gain. It's pr practically nothing now. So, if you would consider it and do it, I would appreciate it. AJ did a good job on this one. You know, the original T is the better of the three, in my opinion. Original T, Habano, Connecticut that order but that being said this is a good cigar and I like it so there you have it the new T Habano Toro 93